Hey guys, this is Caleb with Dad. You say hi? Hi. Hi, he's playing with my earphones. He's having a good time. So uh, this is a uh, ministry update. It's been a couple of weeks that we have been able to do um, a video, but I just want to let you guys know that we are Sunday. I think we're March 12th. It is, we're 47 days post-transplant and um, we just really want to be grateful for everyone that steadfastly kept on praying for us. Um, Caleb has no infections. Caleb has no uh, fungal infection, no bacterial, uh, no viruses. He's doing really well. Um, he doesn't have any s signs of what we call graft versus host. That's when mom's marrow attacks the organs of his body. There's uh, no sign of that for now. Um, so, uh, like you guys know, there are still traces of cancer on a molecular level. So our desire and our prayer has been f that mom's marrow would attack every single residual um, cancer cells in the body. So that is our prayer. Uh, join with us, please, to keep on praying for that. in. 12 days, um, he will have another bone marrow uh, bone marrow biopsy, and they will see if there's still some cancer on a molecular level, and if it has progressed, or if it's gone. So that will be a very stressful day. Um, it will be done uh, around the 24th of March, and then it takes uh, uh, one week to get the results back so that will be something that will be significant. Um, apart from that, the kids are with us. That means Olivia and Jacob come every day in the morning and they spend time with us and we spend a whole day. But in the evening, they go and they sleep at an apartment that we've rented. And the apartment is basically for the people who travel here to come and help us that stay uh, two weeks or three weeks or 10 days that's where they sleep and that's where the kids sleep as well and we keep that apartment so that if ever one of us is ever sick uh, a parent or, a ch or one of the kids we can quarantine them uh, for Caleb not to be exposed to someone that's sick so that's uh, that's the gist of it how long will we keep that apartment uh, we do not know for now um, we'll see how the Lord is going to guide and direct uh, we want to say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. No, mais regarde le monde, regarde le monde. Thank you. Fais-le avec ta main. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the ones praying everywhere in, in Canada, Ontario, Quebec, everywhere in Canada. The people are praying for us in the U.S., in many states, east coast to the west coast. Uh, uh, on, on the north side of, uh, of the states, all the way to Florida in the south side. So thank you for all the ones praying, uh, for the ones that are praying for us in Haiti and the people that are praying for us in Europe. We are very grateful. Um, and many more that are praying for us that we don't even know. Uh, we, Our desire is to one day meet you uh, and say thank you for fighting with us when we were too tired to fight or when we were just too weary of the journey. So, our desire is for Caleb to be healed. Um, sometimes we don't know why, if God would not bring healing, but our prayer is that God heals, so we will see what the Lord will do in the next few weeks. And uh, the Lord doesn't always tell us why, but the good news is that God knows why. And by God's grace, we trust in Him, and He says that all things work for our good, for those whom He loves and who He has chosen. And uh, by God's mercy, He has chosen us in Jesus Christ. So, blessed be His name. We say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you. We say good, good, good goodbye. 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 Thanks, guys.